Here are some of the things you'll need and some tips for caring for your new kitten. Before bringing home your new kitten, you'll need to purchase several essential items. It's kind of like bringing home a new baby, so be prepared. Later on in this video I'll give some suggestions from my experience as an actual cat, Coffee the Ragdoll Cat. A Cat Carrier A secure carrier is crucial for safely transporting your kitten. Food and Water Bowls Choose sturdy, easy to clean bowls, preferably made of stainless steel or ceramic, not plastic. Kitten Food Get high quality food specifically formulated for kittens. Litter Box and Litter Select an appropriately sized litter box and suitable litter for your kitten. Scratching Post Provide a sturdy scratching post to protect your furniture and satisfy your kitten's natural scratching instinct. Toys Purchase a variety of safe, durable toys for mental stimulation and play. Bed or sleeping area Create a comfortable space for your kitten to rest. Collar with ID tag Get a breakaway collar for safety and an ID tag with your contact information. Grooming supplies Include a brush or comb and nail trimmers. Treats Get some kitten appropriate treats for bonding and training. Cat tree or perches Provide vertical spaces for climbing and resting. Cleaning supplies Have litter scoops and disposal systems ready. By preparing these items in advance, you'll ensure a smooth transition for your new kitten into their forever home. Prepare a safe space. Set up a quiet room or area with essentials like food, water, litter box, bed, and toys before bringing your kitten home. There are some important things to note here. Litter boxes can end up being too small after a short while. Cats grow quickly and they need a large litter box to scratch around in. You may end up with a messy floor if the box is not large enough. A good friend of mine, from Life with 18 Cats on YouTube, buys cement mixing trays from a hardware store, because they're bigger and sturdier. Food and water bowls should definitely not be made of plastic as they form scratches which harbor bacteria and make your cat very ill. Buy stainless steel or glazed ceramic, please. A bed for your new kitten is important but may not be needed straight away. I curled up between mummy and daddy cat's pillows for months and months and wouldn't sleep anywhere else. Having said this though, a cat always needs various places to nap in the lounge room and depending on the weather you can buy warm snuggly fluffy beds or a cool bed with plenty of ventilation. Just a quick note about toys. Please make sure they're actually safe for a little kitten. Bits and bobs have been known to fall off and become a choking hazard for the little, very curious, ones. Introduce gradually. Allow your kitten to explore their new environment at their own pace. Start with one room before expanding access to the rest of the house. It is very good to begin with a safe kitten-only zone, otherwise all the newness can be overwhelming and if you lose them you only have one room to look in. Little kittens are very good at hiding and getting into really small places. Establish a routine. Set consistent times for feeding, playing, and sleeping. This helps your kitten feel secure. I'm entirely unsure how you can set a time for playing. Kittens are playing all of the time, unless they're sleeping. I was very lucky with this. My mummy and daddy cat are retired and this meant I've never been lonely, but if you work and you have a kitten they're going to need some time to bond with you. If you can, please spend ample time with them before you have to work again. Provide proper nutrition. Feed your kitten specially formulated kitten food and small, frequent meals throughout the day. There are some really excellent kitten specific foods on the market. 
In Australia the best, the one I like the most, was Royal Canaan. I hope you have it in your country. There are others. Purina make a good one and applause do too, ooh. It is the most important time for good nutrition, when you're a little kitten, so please find something healthy, if you are able. Start socialization. Gently introduce your kitten to new people, pets, sounds, and experiences to help them become well adjusted. Straight off, I have to admit, I'm not well adjusted. I've only met a few humans in my life and I really don't like strangers. If you have a network of friends, and your kitten gets to know them, they will be all the better for the socialization. As for sounds, cats have extremely good hearing. While in their safe kitten zone, they have heard all the sounds in the house already, so that should be no problem. Begin training. Start litter box training and teach your kitten to come when called. Hopefully your new kitten will already be litter box trained by the time you get them, but if not the good thing is they actually want to scratch in the litter so it's not as difficult as it could be. Play and bond. Spend time playing with your kitten daily to provide mental and physical stimulation. A kitten will find other less desirable ways to entertain itself if you don't play with it. Be warned. Handle with care get your kitten used to being touched and groomed, but don't force interactions if they seem uncomfortable. Whatever you want a cat to do as an adult, it is easier if you instill it in them when they are a kitten, when they're much easier to teach. Make sure you are always gentle and kind and your kitten will learn well. Schedule veterinary care. Take your kitten for initial vaccinations, deworming, and health check. Kitten proof your home. Remove potential hazards like electrical cords, small objects, and toxic plants. Boy, do we ever like to chew on things. There's very little we want chew on so please do try to make them less enticing, if you can. Provide scratching posts and toys. This helps redirect natural scratching behavior and keeps your kitten entertained. There will be lots of need for a scratching post. I you're able to get your kitten to use the scratching post, rather than your couch, you will all be happier in the long run. Allow for rest. Kittens need plenty of sleep, so ensure they have quiet times and places to nap. Kittens will probably sleep between 16 to 20 hours a day, so they grow properly and become strong and healthy. Remember, patience and consistency are very important when caring for a new kitten. There will be accidents happen, mistakes made, and untoward messes, but with proper care and attention, you'll help your kitten grow into a well-adjusted, happy adult cat. I hope this has helped you. Love, Coffee Cat